Eden Holland, shalom. Shalom, hello. <laughs> and welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you very much. Eden, we are sitting here at the Inbal Hall in the Suzanne Dalal Center in Tel Aviv after a wonderful performance. Thank you very much. And what a music, what a voice, so many colors. I can't say that I know too many Israeli singers who can sing jazz like you do. Thank you again. <laughs> so how did it all start? Well, first of all, um, I come from a musical background because my father, Ronnie, is a jazz drummer. One of the best. One of the best in Israel. One of the best. And, uh, An excellent teacher, too. Thank you. <laughs> um, and uh, ever since I'm a child, he raised me into music and, of course, into jazz. I started my um, music um, education when I was seven years old, um, completely classic. For seven years I learned classic, uh, classical music in a classical uh, choir choir, sorry, called Batkol, uh -huh. uh, and um, the conductor was Anat Moag, so until the age of 14 I, I learned classical music. Then I was, uh, you know, at school, uh, I learned theater, and then I was in the um, army orchestra. Um, I was actually the singer in uh, the army orchestra of Jerusalem, Pikud Merkaz. Okay. And um, when I finished my army service, I, I went to Rimon Music School, and I can say that ever since I'm uh, 23, I, I sing professionally and I, I uh, perform a lot and I work uh, very hard on the music. And uh, of course, ever since I'm a child, I learn um, all the technique, vocal techniques with different teachers. And, and, we, and we see the wonderful results. Thank you very much. Actually, it was a pleasure this night to perform. And the audience reacted accordingly, <laughs> which you. was a wonderful uh, thing to experience. And there is no secret that you have a love affair yes. with the French language yes. and the French culture. Well, I was born in Paris. Um, I came to Israel, my mother is French, and I came to Israel when I was almost three years old. And I go uh, ever since I'm a child a lot to, to visit family and now uh, more and more for my career. I go very often to Paris to meet people, uh, if it's musician, also uh, directors, managers and um, my career is actually between both worlds. A combination of my Israeli culture and my French uh, culture. A true bridge builder. Exactly. With exactly. your music. Yes. And? In a few weeks from now, you will make history. Because you will be, <laughs> unless I'm wrong, the first ever Israeli musician yes. to perform in Marsiak. Yes, actually this is um, unbelievable for me. It's, uh, it's like a dream coming true. Uh, I got an invitation, a formal invitation from the mayor of Marsiak, which is also the um, musical director of the jazz festival. The mayor is the musical director? Yes, because it's such a small <laughs> village, yes. you know, so they do everything there. And um, this, is, this year it's a celebration of the 35th anniversary of the festival. It's the wow. number three biggest, largest jazz festival in the world. In the world. And um, great... Uh, this is a know, great honor. It's a great honor because uh, there are amazing jazz singers from Israel that already played there, but I don't think a singer went. And, um, and for me, it's, it's unbelievable because my love affair with Marciac started in 2008 and ever since I went there um, to listen, not to perform, uh, I'm in love with this festival. So today to be invited, it's uh, unbelievable. And this is a wonderful opportunity yes. to discuss, talking about music bridge building, about your very unique cooperation, musical cooperation, yes. with a small island in the Indian Ocean, mm -hmm. not far away from Madagascar, Madagascar, called La Réunion. La Réunion. Exactly. You know everything. <laughs> and the music, <laughs> yes. I must say, is a wonderful fusion. Yes. Well, I will tell you about it a little bit. Uh, when I was at 2008 in Marciac, I, of course, met many musicians. Uh, it's a place to collaborate, to meet, to mingle. And um, 
I walked around and suddenly I heard a music that I never heard before, something s so different, so strange to me. And I was very attracted to this and um, I came near to the stage and I was amazed and that very moment changed my life. Amazing. I discovered um, a musician called Mehdi Gerville which is uh, an unbelievable pianist and, and singer from the Reunion Island, which is east to Madagascar in the Indian Ocean. And um, when I heard him, I heard a, a fusion, a, a mix of jazz harmonies with unbelievable musicians, very virtuose, doing unbelievable solos, mixed with the uh, traditional rhythms from there. Exactly. Uh, yes, uh, the the rhythms are called mostly Maluya and Sega, and the language he sings with, and of course the, the language that they speak is called Creole, and it's a, um, actually a mix of French and African language. And me as French, I could uh, almost understand it, uh, and actually it's um, it's a territory outside of France, so. Each one that is born there is, is also French and also uh, local and uh, the nationality is mixed and I was amazed. I started to learn about those musicians and to explore the rhythm, to explore the language, the culture and my life changed and I understood that very moment that my destination is to go to this mix, this fusion between jazz and world music, traditional African rhythms, a little bit of influence uh, for Brazilian music that I adore as well. And I, I created my, my own style, which from a jazz singer that I always, you know, perform classical jazz uh, influences like uh, Sarah Vaughan and Diana Washington and Ella Fitzgerald and all the classic. I understand that I want to mix it up a little with the passion of the African rhythms and that's it. It was a big discovery for me. Lucky us. And tonight yes. we enjoyed tremendously uh, Le Réunion uh, music yes. with Hebrew words. Yes, I, I wrote and we have Hebrew to thank, words. And we have to thank you for this because yes. I don't know if we mentioned it you write most of your music. Yes. My album just came out. It's called Irresistible. And it's an album that um, my dream is um, to make it, uh, you know, um, in a big um, distribution in the world, in the international uh, jazz and, and world music. And it's my own compositions with unbelievable musicians from Israel, from New York, and also f directly from the Reunion Island. It's really a mix of cultures and, uh, and a big production, and it was mixed and mastered in Paris in um, a, you know, a studio that I was very lucky to, to do this special sound there because it's um, someone who is called Fred Manier and he mixes for artists like Tanya Maria and Andre Ciccarelli who is, which is one of the biggest drummer in Europe and uh, Paris Jazz Big Band and people from the islands and Latin music and big production so it's a very unique sound and it's of course my own, uh, my own music inspired by all those influences that I, that I live every day, from jazz to world music. And if we may say so ourselves, yeah. after listening to the album, it is indeed irresistible. Merci. Thank you very much. Avec plaisir. <laughs> Thank you, Aviad. Uh, I know that one of your dreams is to be able one day to go and perform at the La Réunion. Exactly. And maybe even in Madagascar. Yes. I will tell you something from my heart. Um, to sing in a jazz festival in Europe or in the United States will be amazing. To, to, to build a strong international career and to represent also my Israeli culture, it's a dream for me. I work so hard every day. But I must say that to make it happen, to go to this little island and to Madagascar, which is not so luxurious, you know, but it's, um, it's to really give value to my project, because my project is the first collaboration between Israel and the Reunion Islands. Ever. Ever made. It's historic. It's historic and it's, uh, it's the very first meeting between two cultures. Very exciting. Very, and, uh, and again, um, such a hard work, but but it's a lot of, of power to, 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 to in, you know, 
even I, I find it hard to find the words. Uh, I'm so excited because music has a lot of power. To be able to, to connect to cultures that have never met before. And to go there for me, it will be unbelievable because it will make this collaboration uh, really happen. And uh, I will play with locals. They will maybe come one day to Israel. I know it's a dream for them. And I know there's a community, a big community that waits for me there. Mm -hmm. And almost every day I get by post um, gifts, letters, albums, books from people, locals there that wish to make me um, a little bit know about their culture, to, to give me gifts because they know that I, I love uh, all their world and influences. Amazing. So it's amazing. Amazing. And despite of the fact that you are so busy, you still find the time to try and help your fellow musicians. Yes. Can you tell us a bit about this aspect of your life? Well, I'm 28 years old and two years ago Danny Gottfried, which is uh, the pioneer of jazz in Israel, he um, you know, brought in the 70s all the uh, jazz culture to Israel. He um, actually built all the jazz festivals, the in Red Sea lab, Jazz right. Festival. He directed it for 24, 25 years, all the jazz series of jazz in Tel Aviv. Mm. And um, he called me to the, um, uh, you know, um, office of the Musicians' Union and um, he told me, listen, the, the young generation uh, needs help to, to know better how to manage and to give value to the music industry because it's so complicated, it's so hard and, and it's so complex the you know the, the music industry and you need in one hand to work so hard in the other hand to give value to what you do to respect it to earn money to earn good money and so um, he asked me if I want to come and try to, to build uh, um, a job that will help the community to, to know better how to manage themselves and I, I organize conferences and, um, and many things that help musicians so during the day I work there and I, I try to help the community and I think it's very important and in the evening I continue my rehearsal, my concert and uh, you know the studio and everything. One of the most impressive things tonight Yes. in addition to your performance I looked around I've seen many of your colleagues from the music world in Israel. Yes. Two guys from one of the most successful Israeli bands, Orphan Land, yes. were here. Yeah. And from what I've heard from them, they were truly impressed. Yes, they and are there were And there were many others. Yes. So, in addition to the love and applause that you have received from the audience, Probably this is the ultimate compliment that you receive it from your peers, from your yes, colleagues. It's true. Um, I um, I'm very honored that I'm surrounded by such amazing musicians. It's true that Orphan and, for example, Yossi Farhi and uh, Yossi Sassi, sorry, and Kobi Farhi that were here. Um, it's uh, they they did an unbelievable project. They work over 20 years. Uh, I appreciate very much that they came and others and. Uh, I think uh, when musicians know that someone works hard and, uh, and that uh, gives value to what they do, it's, uh, it's nice to be recognized. I, I appreciate very much. Eden, I want to thank you very much for taking the time thank after you. such a demanding performance and to wish you and to wish us that you will continue with your wonderful music and you will be able to go all over the world with your truth, with your message. So all we can say, bonne chance. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> and uh, good luck. Thank you and very shalom. much. And shalom and thank you. Toda rabai, Toda, our pleasure.